Kelsey, why don't you do the introduction today? I started last time. All right, well, uh, hey everyone, and welcome back to the... <laughs> That was almost a complete disaster. But Kelsey and Jay tank off for our fourth fourth episode. I think so. Wow, we're we're moving quite along here. Although it's been a couple of weeks, uh, right now the tanks are cycling, and uh, it's really boring part mm -hmm. of the aquarium reef keeping experience. But a good one if you're willing to take the time because giving it that extra time while you're dosing bacteria keeping the light off um, usually pays dividends in terms of less algae and uh, healthier fish and coral down yep. the road. Okay. So this week we are going to start our equipment installation, some of which we're going to start running right away, some of which we're not. It's probably going to take us about a week to get these tanks fully set up. So uh, it made sense to start with the Ecotech equipment we're using. Hmm. And uh, you know, I went in and got you some stuff. It looks like Christmas morning mm -hmm. here on the floor. Yeah, um, definitely a bit of a mess. Let's start with the Vortec. Yeah, so Vortec, here we go. We're gonna go with MP10s. Uh, biggest thing about our pumps when you're purchasing one is know your glass thickness. We have a small, medium, and large, which is a 10, 40, and 60. Uh, the 10 is great for nano tanks that have glass that is less than 3 8 of an inch or less. I think you told us in millimeters what that is, right? 9.5 millimeters. 9.5 millimeters. Yep. So it will not span the thickest of glass, but what is great for nanotanks that will accommodate it is the fact that the motor is outside because with the cord and motor outside, there is no heat transfer. And then also Vortex are known for their broad yet gentle flow, <laughs> which is particularly good for corals, hard and soft. Uh, feeding them and moving detritus. One of my favorite things about the Vortec is the sponge that goes over the wet side. It's awesome because it catches food and other detritus that's in the water. It also prevents from not strong swimming fish and even anemones from getting blended up inside of Take the propeller. So I definitely use that a lot. They're on most of the tanks around the office. I would suggest trying them out too. I mean, you only have to clean them once every couple days. Yeah, it acts as a kind of mechanical filter mm. um, in addition to a guard. But again, it depends on your system whether or not you want to run them. But yeah, we do run them on most of the tanks around here. And uh, that's the Vortec. If you want to learn more about it, I mean, what they do out of the box is really quite impressive for, uh, for a pump that size. Functionality is exactly the same on the 10, 40, and 60. The only difference is the size of the pump and how much uh, glass thickness it will span. So that's the Vortec. And uh, then we also have lighting. So we're going to go with um, our XR15s. Again, not going to get into too much detail about these. Uh, there's plenty of information online. We'll throw some links up. And also, we will be mounting them using the RMS uh, mounting kit. Are you sure you're able to talk about this, or do you think it might be a little complicated? I don't. I <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so basically it just uh, attaches to the radion, screw it in, and then the arm attaches to your tank. It is uh, capable with aquariums that have lips and aquariums that don't have lips. It comes with two different rails so that you can set it out in your tank at the required or wanted. Yeah, the depth, front to back depth you're looking for. 
Nope. Uh, difference between the XR30 and 15 kit is the X bracket, and uh, also the 30 kit has an extra arm length so that you can uh, you can go further into the tank. So basically, the uh, XR15 comes with a short and a medium. The XR30 comes with a short, medium, and long. All right, and then uh, the last, last but not least, yep. yeah, is uh, the battery backup, of which. In the package comes not one, but two of these. <laughs> you connect your Vortec or your Vectra to the battery backup. And uh, pop quiz here. If we have our two MP10s connected to the battery backup, how many hours do we get? 36. If we only had one? 72. Wow, your, your math skills are... Fantastic. I know this because I just had to set one up in my tank. We had a snowstorm here, lost power, and luckily I, I, I took a battery back up home so that I could keep flow going in my tank. Is that your phone? It, it is. It's my watch. And, and why is Chad calling us right now? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not answering it. <laughs> Excuse our interruption here. Okay. And we've got obviously the power supply and everything else, and then here's the battery backup itself. I will hold it since it's uh, it's very heavy. <laughs> it's probably like six pounds, but it's very <laughs> heavy. <laughs> um, it's not that heavy, although it's heavier than most things because it's uh, it's it's actually your standard lead acid battery, um, but it's obviously in a nice case that's easily mountable and. Um, you can also see how much charge is left in it on your Vortec controller. How do you do that? You look at the indicator LEDs and from right to left, it'll tell you what the power is in the battery. So yeah, if all of them are lit up, that means it's full. If some proportion of them are lit up, that's the percentage of the battery life you have remaining. Should be full or almost nearly full the entire time because the charger that comes with it is a trickle charger. So we'll keep it charged. Um, as long as it's plugged in. We do recommend checking it annually by unplugging your power and then seeing what those indicator lights are lit up uh, to make sure. Hopefully we'll be uh, running some background footage here actually showing you what that looks like. But uh, mm -hmm. if not, just take our word for it and be sure to do it. We are definitely, we've learned the hard way about uh, power outages around here. Mm -hmm. So um, very important piece of equipment if you don't use ours and you have some other mechanism, definitely do that because obviously the largest investment in your tank is your time and your livestock. And keeping that alive is critical. Most important thing to that is oxygen exchange yep. through water movement. Um, so get a power head on a battery backup. Make sure you have an extra power head of some kind in the case your power head fails, but whatever you do, always think in terms of insurance and backups. In addition to that, obviously, we've got some other equipment we're going to have to put on our, our tank over the next uh, few days. I see you already have a magnet cleaner. I do. Just one. It's on my tank, <laughs> not on Jay's. Where's my magnet cleaner? Mag float. I like them because it floats to the top instead of sinking to the bottom. And um, I'm known around here for scratching glass mm. a little bit because of magnets getting sand stuck in them. So I like this brand because it helps that not happen as much. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, and then we basically, after that, we've, we've got to put heaters in. Um, auto top-offs. Auto top-offs. Jay's dosing pump. Yeah, my dosing pump and my super cool custom build uh, reservoir. And, uh, oh yeah, we grabbed that from the back for you too. Yep. We, Where's the actual go? screen guard go? Oh, oh it's, it's up here. here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the D and D jump guard. This one was from another tank, which happens to be the same size in the office. But uh, Kelsey's tanks are perfect to accommodate this, and actually, so is mine. Even though the rockwork comes up, I'm gonna try to do a cutout when I make my screen top to go on that. But yours is just a perfect straight fit. Yep. And what kind of fish like to jump? What the hell, firefish? Rasses. Yeah. Actually, pretty much most fish will jump. If they're stressed. Yeah. yeah. Spooked. But some, a lot of them will just jump regardless. Like firefish and wrasses have definitely had a lot jump over the years. And that's the reason I'm able to keep them on this tank over here. Because yep. I have a jump guard. 
So uh, again, another another good piece of equipment, especially now that there's these options available like the D&D jump guard, which are so thin that they don't really add anything unpleasant aesthetically to your tank. Mm. Uh, as you can see, we even forgotten that we had it on there. <laughs> Uh, but again, you know, I mean, it's it's a great investment, particularly if you have uh, have a lot of nice fish that you want to keep in your tank, and uh, that's where the jump guard comes in. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining us this week. By the next time you see us, hopefully we'll be putting our first fish or two in with mm -hmm. all the equipment set up. Uh, and what are those fish going to be? You're the animal husbandry expert. Uh, we want something that's small because we only have 25 gallon tanks, but we want something that's hardy. Um, we can do something like a damsel or clownfish to test them out. And then if they survive and if they're doing well, we can add something that's a little bit more sensitive. Like a barracuda? Sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. So thank you for uh, tuning in and uh, we'll catch you again in a week, week and a half, when we're ready to, to add our first fish. Uh, if you like this video, please leave us a comment, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Leave a nice comment, and the one that we like the most will win a shirt like this. It's the Ecotech Grow Amazing Coral. Awesome, good stuff. All right, Kelsey, thanks a lot. Thank you, See you Jay. soon. Bye-bye. Bye. think of below then you will be entered to win this shirt well not that shirt unless they unless they want this unless one unless they want that one okay that all right that very weird yeah it did <laughs> why can't we just do one normal tank jay <laughs> you'll win oh fuck. why do i keep i'm starting to sweat we yeah. need the all right. <laughs> now we're really going to look like we're in an 80s movie, like in Top Gun. Do it again. Like yeah, because I'm like greasy. Uh. Okay. <laughs> the Girl Amazing Coral Ecotech shirt. Yeah. Good deal. Help me. <laughs>